everyone it's Laura from Time I'm Here Too and this is day 10 of Vlogmas. I can't believe I've actually made it to day 10. I mean it feels like a real achievement. So anyway today's uh, Vlogmas is a little bit different. So today I have been tagged in Katie from What Katie Says in her 12 questions for Vlogmas. So I was tagged by Nina from Ready For A Cuppa um, and I've got to answer these 12 questions. Now, what I haven't actually looked at the questions on purpose because I want to be reading them as I'm talking to you. So straight in, I've got them on my screen. It says, number one, what is your favorite Christmas movie? This is tough. I love Christmas movies. Um, favorite Christmas movie. Well, I love the Charles Dickens story um, of Scrooge and the ghosts. And I do like Scrooged version, but it's got to be Muppets Christmas Carol, I think, you know. Muppets, classic story, bang them together, it's chaos, it's fantastic. So I love the Muppets Christmas uh, Carol. So, next one. Um, do you have a favourite Christmas song? Again, really, really hard, but... I love Fairy Tale in New York by the Pogues. Uh, I went to see the Pogues live about a week before Christmas, a couple of years back. Well, quite a long, uh, about 12 years back. God, I feel old. Um, and they were supported by Dropkick Murphys. And it was just one of the gigs that just like, yeah, it was ideal for that time of year. So, yeah, I absolutely love the Pogues. A Fairy Tale in New York is one of my favourite Christmas songs. When do you put up your Christmas train? Early. I'm an early person. Uh, normally, we put it up in the first weekend of December. Uh, this year, we actually put it up the week before just because we were really busy on the first weekend and we knew we wouldn't be able to do it as a family and we like doing it with all four of us. Um, so we did it a bit early. We sneaked it in. Um, and then, yeah, we tend to put the, the tree up and then do the rest of the decorations afterwards. So we tend to put the lights up sort of a week or so later. Um, and we don't really do much other decoration in the house. We do have like annoying things like singing reindeers. I'm glad this isn't my favorite song. Anyway, we'll turn him off. Thankfully, he's got an off button. So we've got a few of those annoying things dotted around, but we don't really decorate the house. It's only usually the tree. Um, I also take it down, like, the day after Boxing Day. I hate my Christmas tree. As soon as Christmas is over, it's like, pack it away. I don't want to see it anymore. It's gone. Get rid. Um, I'm a bit of a Grinch once Christmas Day has gone. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, do you peek at gifts or do you like a surprise? I'm a peeker. I'm definitely a peeker. Um, mostly when my husband is concerned because he's a bit rubbish, like really rubbish at giving gifts. So um, I need to prepare myself to be thankful for the, <laughs> the things that I receive um, so I can just hide the disappointment on my face. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I am only joking, but I, I am a bit of a peeker. I've always been a bit of a peeker, but this year he actually got me Red Hot Chili Peppers tickets, which is in like a couple of days. So I'm going to take you with me so that you can see the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I mean, what, a bear, what an awesome vlog that's going to be. Uh, so that was my main Christmas present. So I kind of even peeked at that because he said uh, to mark this date in my diary that I couldn't go. So the first thing I did just went on google and it's like what's going on on that day in manchester and it came up that it was red hot chili peppers so i was like yes and if he'd come home and not given me red hot chili pepper tickets i would have been really disappointed so yeah no that was really awesome uh so yeah definitely a peeker um who would you like to kiss under the mistletoe obviously my husband does he watch this video i hope he doesn't watch this video um no i yeah de definitely um him uh although Hmm. Zac Efron? Although, is that a bit, like, being a bit of a cradle snatcher? Because he's really young, but... Yeah, he'll do. Um, do you have any Christmas traditions? I've actually done a whole, like, vlog for Vlogmas on Christmas traditions. Um, 
went up yesterday. So you can watch that one to find out about our Christmas traditions. But the main one that my kids seem to always want us to do is to wrap the doors in our house. So to stop them peeking, because they're peekers too. Uh, we don't actually have locks on the door like my mum did when I was a kid. So what we do is we wrap the door frames in wrapping paper and in the morning they have to run through the wrapping paper and burst through it. But it means that we know if they've got out of bed or if they snuck downstairs. So it's really cool. So yeah, that's our main tradition. And we started that like at home and then when we went to my mum's we had to do it and we've had to do it every year because it's like one of their favourite things. Uh, what will I be wearing on Christmas Day? This year I'll be wearing a pug Christmas dress with a matching smaller one for my daughter Elizabeth because that's what she's asked me to wear. She wants us to wear matching Christmas dresses so we've managed to get some matching pug Christmas dresses so I'm sure I'll look thrilling and there'll be no photos of that. Um, normally it's smart clothes or Christmas jumper or whatever the kids have got me. Um, what I really want to do on Christmas Day is stay in my pyjamas, dressing gown, slippers, not move. But unfortunately, you know, dinner's got to be cooked and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's what I'll be wearing Christmas Day this year. Uh, what does your Christmas Day look like? We get up and drink coffee and sleepily watch the children open their presents. Then we leave them to play in their cardboard boxes whilst we uh, cook a nice big fry up. And then, yeah, watch some TV, chill out, maybe put a movie on, um, put the turkey in the oven. Just basically just chill, um, unless we have to go around somewhere else for dinner. But if it's, a, if it's a home one like it is this year, we just take it easy. You know, there's no set time that we're going to eat. So, you know, we'll only put the, the turkey on when, breakfast, when we're not full from breakfast anymore. Um, and then I'll just time it based on when we put the turkey in the oven, because we're only having a turkey breast, so it's not like a whole massive bird that I have to cook um so that's kind of what that looks like and in the evening you know we get all the Doritos and the dips and the snacks and the cheese and just pig out really watching films all snuggled up together while the kids are playing computer games or whatever it is they're doing um at the time so yeah pretty chilled pretty boring but but that's that's the joy of Christmas for me it's all about the food anyway um have you ever had any Christmas day disasters yes yes we have um, I hope my mother-in-law doesn't watch this, but last year our Christmas dinner was terrible. Um, we all we all went round to uh, a big hall that was like, over the road from my mother-in-law's house, and I had to cook the turkey, and he, uh, my sister-in-law cooked the beef, and his mum had to cook the vegetables. And there was actually an oven where we were um in the hall so what we thought is like should prepare them take them over in pans turn the oven on like cook it all there while we're eating our starters and the kids are playing but no she cooked them all in the morning so we had lovely jerky and lovely beef um and lovely gravy and i did all the like the sausages wrapped in bacon and the stuff and the stuff that was all really good but the potatoes were so overcooked from being left in a hot oven that they were like puck she couldn't cut them and the vegetables were so soggy it was minging so uh yeah my kids refused to eat vegetables and they never refused to eat vegetables so yeah that that was pretty bad they've asked that we never eat there again I'm not going to complain um what would i like for christmas what i'd really like for christmas is a new wedding ring because i've lost mine and uh i did take my husband to a ring shop where we measured the size of my finger but I don't think he's got the hint because there's no ring sized box under that Christmas tree um, and all my presents are under the tree. So what I really want for Christmas is for my husband to pick up our hints. That would that would be a start um, or an, someone to train him. Maybe, maybe. Um, to be fair, I'm not I'm not too bothered about Christmas. Uh, it's all about the kids. I'm quite happy to just sit back with my coffee as long as there's a steaming hot pot of coffee and a decent roast dinner like with everything on it and i don't put on like a stone in a day I'll, I'll be like yeah i'll be over the moon um so that's that's what i want for christmas uh what has been your highlight of 2016 i've had a great year I, as a family we have had an amazing year and we've traveled so much um we went on the cruise and that that that's our highlight is we spent eight days sailing around the med um with carnival cruises which was just it was a dream come true. I've always wanted to cruise. Um, so that was that was like the highlight for me. But, you know, just the work that I do and being able to stay at home and um, 
getting like all the stuff that I do within the toy industry, working in the toy industry and, and being respected for the work I do within the toy industry, that's really big for me this year. So yeah, that's something I've really enjoyed and something I'm proud of. Um, final question. Will you be making any resolutions for 2017? I always say I want to get thinner. So 2015, I actually lost three stone. 2016, I am... Um, about half a stone lighter than I was at the beginning of January so not doing great but I'm not putting on so that that's still a bonus to me it's been an extremely busy year so I still see that as a bonus uh 2017 we we go to America in July and we're actually going to the Bahamas for a couple of days which is woohoo uh so I would like to lose a bit more weight before we go back there so that I can fit into a, a smaller swimsuit so that would be that would be my dream uh and my goal you know it's not it's not a resolution it's just i am going to be smaller before i go there so i'm going to get christmas out of the way uh because i can't be on a diet over christmas i can't it's just it's just not not right um i think that you should lose three stone every year to put a half a stone on in christmas that's 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 my aim like lose loads of weight eat loads of food lose loads of weight eat loads of food like th there's nothing wrong with that December should just be written off. It's just a fun month to eat food. Um, so yeah, my my I won't have any resolutions really. Uh, maybe work less, spend more time with the kids, try to turn the laptop off more, try to go to bed before midnight, all those sort of things. But they're things that are like goals I should be working towards anyway. Um, I use my planner. So this is my ridiculously busy planner um, that I got from Stick to Stigoo last year or the beginning. Yeah end of last year really um and i have used this religiously throughout the year which i've never done that before so i've got a new one of these um actually a hardback one because this one's looking a bit raggedy by now um but i've got a new one of these so my my aim is to plan more work less uh because if i plan more i should be able to work less hours so that's what i'm going to do um and also i'm sitting at my desk cleaned my desk so I'm actually sat at my desk so that I can sit at my desk and that makes me more productive as well so I'll be doing that uh, so no resolutions just goals and achievements from me uh, so that was the the 12 questions it was quite good I quite enjoyed that um, and say so I hope some of my family members are not watching my videos but I'm sure I'm sure they're not so I need to tag the next person in the chain and that is lovely Louise Martin um, from she's her her YouTube channel is uh, youtube.com slash user slash O-U-S-I-E-L. So do go and subscribe and follow her so that you can see her answers to the 12 questions of Christmas. I'll see you soon. Bye.